Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm um, just basically going to do an intro and outro because I am going to be doing another Halo, um, my experience with the Halo laser. Um, I'm going to be showing you like basically when I got it done, um, the procedure, and then also uh, five days of recovery. I have done this twice before, but it has been four years since my last treatment. Um, and also when I first did it before, I wasn't on tretinoin. I had just started retinol um, at a very low dose, and now I'm on like the full, like the full blast of, of tretinoin. So my recovery was fantastic. Um, I can't even, you know, I'll explain to you after, at the end, but this is, um, I think the halo laser is fantastic. The most dramatic results that I had were in my first one, um, because I had a lot of, you know, skin tone issues and, um, you know, it really helped even out my skin tone. It helped with some fine lines and wrinkles. What I asked to do this time is one, just to kind of maintenance, right? Uh, for, it's been four years since I did it. I saw a dramatic improvement after the first one and definitely a much, a, a lot of improvement after the second one, but it's been four years. So I wanted to do it again and I'm going to be doing another one in six months. Um, so one, it also helps like build up your collagen, right? So it helps to start to create the collagen. So um, in four to six months, I'll start to really see like the true results and then I'll do it again. So that should help, you know, kind of build the collagen. And one of the things I asked is that he really go heavy on my eyes because, um, you know, that's where, you know, I have like the thinnest skin, right? So um, now with the halo laser, they can only get so close to the eye because of the way the laser is. It's kind of like a rolling thing. Whereas with certain lasers, they can actually even get closer and get closer to the skin. Um, however, those recoveries, one, one, it was a lot more money. And then two, the recovery was anywhere between 10 and 20 days where I knew with the halo, it was like, you know, five to seven or actually seven to 10. Um, but anyway, so here is my halo laser experience. I did go to Dr. Nathan Eberly, who I've gone to before. Um, he is in Weston. He's fantastic. Um, he also did my breast implant exchange and a lift after I had Ryder, um, and I think he's, I think the world of him. So if you found me, found this video from just researching him, he's a fantastic doctor. I think he's excellent. So here is uh, my Halo laser experience. Okay, so I'm here, just put the numbing cream on my face. It is 1.50 and I'm gonna wait 20, 25 minutes before we go in and do the laser. Okay, they just took all the cream off and we're getting ready and it is, 220. So has this been updated since the last time I did it? Or is it the same, it's the same technology? Same technology. Um, they, they've updated some of the software, which changes you know, the wavelengths of how the lasers work, but um, they haven't made any major changes to the Halo device. Is it still pretty popular? Yeah. yeah. Maximal result with minimal downtime versus the big blast, you know, you're laid up looking pretty ugly for a couple of weeks. It's just not, not very conducive to most people's lifestyles. Yeah. Know. And how many treatments do people do you usually do? Two. Two? Yeah, two. Two usually spaced, you know, a month, six weeks apart. Let the skin really heal from the first, the first blast and then do it again. Does it make a difference of how spaced out you do them? Because I think I was six months apart the first time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're, you're, you're gonna see the most the most rapid change in turnover you're gonna see is in the first four to six weeks. So then, you know, if you're trying to make a, a big improvement beyond how far that takes you, then yeah, you're gonna get right back to it. Uh, others, yeah, I mean, you get a you get a real aggressive good first blast, then yeah, you don't need to get right back to it. Four to six weeks, just do it again and three months, six months, whatever, you know. So for longer term results, is it better to space it out or, or does it really matter? Uh, probably better off spacing it out a little bit more. Okay. Okay, so it is 3.20, I just finished. Uh, I am a lobster. My face is on fire. Um, however, I feel like it wasn't 
as bad as it was or painful as it was the first time the first two times I did it the first time I did it extremely painful the second time I did it my my skin was definitely more um, it, it wasn't as bad um, the fire afterwards is, is, is really the worst um, however um, I've been using tretinoin at the time I was only on retinol I think I was at 0.5 retinol now I'm on 1% tretinoin so my skin is definitely more tolerated we went really really hard he pretty much went really really hard that that part um, we didn't get on camera uh, yeah that part was was intense um, but I know it's you know when you're paying a lot of money and uh, the the results are dependent on how hard you go I was like go hard um, go big or go home so you know gave me a boob literally a boob uh to to squeeze and uh went through it and um so i'm pretty much gonna swell around here but so um right now again this is literally 10 minutes after uh they put aquifer over my face um gonna go home the first 12 hours i think are the worst uh and then gonna document so i'll come back and we'll show you what i'm gonna look in a few hours and then i'll show you um, this is my recovery for the next uh, next week or so. Also, I forgot to mention um, the one thing I did forget, and it just reminded me once we did it, is the smell of burning hair. You have the little hair on your face, um, and the smell of the burning hair. Like you, you, it's the first thing you you when they first go over, um, you smell that. So just be prepared for that. I forgot about it. It doesn't bother me, but it I forgot, and that smell reminded me of the last time so this is something you forget but you know basically all the little hairs off your face get get literally burned off so good morning it is um the day after my halo uh laser procedure and as you can see i am a lobster um so one of the things i did yesterday that really helped um my comfort because yesterday the first night is the worst your face is burning it's um it just well it was just for me it was just burning um i just literally sat in front of a fan i noticed when you know he was doing the procedure he had it has like a little fan on it and as soon as that was removed and he stopped the procedure that's when the burning start started so when i was in the car i threw up the ac had the AC straight on my face. And then when I got in the house, same thing, like it started to burn again. So I just got a fan. Um, I had literally aquifer all over my face. Um, but I just sat in front of a fan and I had the fan and I had the fan on me all night until I went to bed. Um, then uh, I washed my face because you're supposed to wash your face, washed my face. I try to put on a um, moisturizer and I couldn't like it just it it was burning a little bit and it's a sensitive skin it's the moisturizer that I plan on using so um, I ended up just putting a thin layer of aquifer again so I did a you know wash my face with gentle cleanser and did my face with a thin layer of aquifer which did help me um, get more comfortable I did um, take an, uh, an Advil, no, I'm sorry, a Tylenol PM to go to sleep because I was in a lot of pain. You got to sit up, um, so the swelling. So I'm a little swollen, but not that bad. He went really, really hard in this area. So this morning I actually woke up and was kind of crusty. Um, I still had the aquifer on, but I've already started peeling. Um, so when I washed my face, a lot of that came off, but I don't remember it being like that this early, like getting the dead skin off so quickly. I, I don't remember the last two times, but I remember kind of getting that like maybe the next day or, you know, a day after, but really, really early. So I did have a lot of um, like dead skin already, especially in here where he went really, really hard. So um, one of the things I've been doing is, well, let me show you. Okay, so I have been using, I washed my face with the um, First Aid Beauty uh, Pure Cleanser. It's a sensitive skin cleanser and no, you, may, you know, it has to be a sensitive skin cleanser and one that has no fragrance. So very, very important. Um, so I did that, made, definitely made my face feel a lot better. And then I've been taking, I'm going to put moisturizer on now, but I have this thermal spring water 
spray. And I actually have a bigger bottle, but this is my like one ounce bottle. And you just put this on. And when I tell you I've done this all morning and my skin is just drinking this up, like it is just absorbing it up, drinking it up. So um, I'm just gonna literally, I have a 10 ounce bottle. This is my little one. And I'm planning on doing this. Um, I had seen this online where people said to do this and, but you only need it like the first day. <laughs> I'm gonna do this as well. It just feels so good. It, it's very, because my skin starts to be tight and you can already see my skin is absorbing the water. So, and then you just do this and it feels so nice. So I'm doing that. I am going to put some moisturizer on. The doctor gave me this little sample of Stratacel, which is like a um, advanced dressing for fractional procedures. It's a little sample. He says, I probably won't need more than this. And then I can switch to a regular moisturizer. So I'm going to put this on. I still have my aquifer just in case the aquifer, the aquifer feels very, very soothing and comforting. He says, I probably won't need something that thick going forward. Um, and you look, you look ridiculous with it on, but, um, so if I can go to a regular moisturizer, I will, but um, this is it. So super red, a little puffy. He went really hard in the eye as far, he went as far as up as he could because I really wanted that. So, um, but I'm I'm happy. I'm definitely much better. Like yesterday was, was uncomfortable. Um, the first night is always the worst. Um, and then I can start wearing makeup tomorrow. Um, I don't plan on wearing makeup, but I can. Um, and I have Jane Arundel. So Jane Arundel makeup is okay for post procedures. So, um, and I'll probably be doing a review on the Jane Arundel because I probably will wear it after. But so this is a uh, day one, morning one. I'll probably do a recap um, or touch base tonight. Okay, so it is day two. It is Wednesday after my procedure. I had my procedure on Monday afternoon. So it is the morning, late morning of Wednesday. So it was a little swollen this morning, but it's already gone down. I just washed my face. I have not put any moisturizer on. I wanted to show you what it looked like after I washed my face. Um, what I'm just really dry around here. So you can kind of see the dryness. As far as here, it's not like peeling, like here. It's peeling on my forehead and around, definitely around here, that's the worst. My biggest problem is trying to not peel the skin. Um, I just washed my face. I sprayed with the Evian um, or the Avian, whatever, the thermal water. I'm gonna do that, just keep doing that. And then I'm going to put, I also put some snail mucin, which really, really helped. Um, I have that from Casa Rx, so that really helps with dry skin. So I'm going to do that again now before I put on moisturizer. I've also been using, um, I've been switching between the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Moisturizer and then also the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Magic Water Cream. That feels amazing. It's just so pricey that, um, you know, I've been alternating between the two. But honestly, how it feels on my skin with this, the Magic Water Cream is amazing for this because it's sensitive, it's for sensitive skin, there's no there's no fragrance, and it's really for hydration. It's amazing. Um, the regular Magic Cream has fragrance, so you can't use that one. The Magic Water Cream is amazing. Um, so I've just been alternating with it. Um, last night, I woke up in the middle of the night with my face really tight because it was so dry. So um, I should have put the aquifer on at night. I'm going to do that tonight. Other than that, this is uh, day two. Hello and welcome to day three of my recovery of the Halo Laser. So today is much better. Um, yesterday I was super dry, peeling, cracking. I was constantly spraying my face. Like it didn't burn, but I felt like that that dryness that you do. Um, I'm still dry, however, um, probably around um, in the afternoon, I put just Aquaphor, I just had to because it was so dry and cracking. I put Aquaphor and then I took a shower and I washed my face and then just the water literally just peels of skin just kind of came off. Um, and then as soon as I got out, I hydrated my skin. 
um, I put some snail mucin in and then I did um, just my first aid beauty is really what I've been using um, so I've been using the first aid beauty uh, hydrating ultra up show it's and it's pretty inexpensive um, and then I went in with the little sample that they gave me not the aquifer but the sample that they gave me which is kind of like aquifer but just not as thick um, I did that overnight which really helped because it just um, it kind of just keeps the moisture and it locks it it kind of creates a barrier whereas the moisture moisturizer kind of you know falls in so I woke up this morning and my face wasn't tight or cracking it still felt pretty had that barrier on so washed my face again um, using a first aid beauty pure cleanser which is a very sensitive skin friendly cleanser and then just went in with um, actually my magic hydrator mist from charlotte tilbury which has been amazing and then um, put a layer of moisturizer on then I've just been constantly spraying with the thermal spring water, which is really refreshing. Um, and then when I feel like I'm dry, I start putting the moisturizer on again. So that's what I've done. I haven't put aquifer or anything today, but I haven't needed to. But um, while I'm red, I'm not really um, like peeling like I was yesterday, which was driving me absolutely nuts. So really red, healing, but feel really good. I'm a little crusty up here. But other than that, like I feel like today, if I wanted to put on some makeup, which um, you have to, there's certain makeups that you can do, one makeup line that's that's uh, approved for after procedures is Jane Arundel. Um, I have that, um, I'm not going to, but I feel like if I could, if I needed to today, I could. Um, the last two days I couldn't because I was just so dry, it was gonna look awful. But if I needed to put um, some makeup on, I probably could. So feeling great today. This is day three, um, definitely better. And I, I feel like I wanna compare my, my past um, healing, but I feel like I'm healing faster this time, even though he went in more intense. And I think that has to do with the fact that I've been on Tretinoin for like two or three years. Um, so I'll talk about that like at the recap at the end, but definitely it's going really well. Really, really happy so far with my progress. Okay, so it is Friday. Um, I had the procedure done on Monday. Um, it is early afternoon, so this is uh, day four. Honestly, I am amazed at how fast I'm healing this time around. I'm healing so much faster this time around. I have a little spot here, but no more dry patches. Um, I'm red, but I'm healing so fast. I could easily put on makeup. Um, hopefully I'll be able to put on a little of the um, Jane Arundel makeup next week, or I mean, sorry, tomorrow, because um, I am going out um, just uh, just for my son and stuff, but um, but I feel very good. I was able to put on um, some sunscreen. When I went out yesterday, I put on um, my Naked Sundays, so it was really great. Very, very happy with the healing, but I mean, it is smooth and you can see, um, Again, so this is a day four after the procedure. Okay, so it is a day five. It is Saturday, October 7th. I had this done on October 2nd, and I am amazed how fast I healed this time, especially that he went a lot harder um, and more intense than he did even the second time I did it. Um, so I, I have a little spot here that's dry, a little patch here, but for the most part, um, I've been healing really well. I think there's a couple reasons why. I've been using snail mucin from COSRX, which um, I use when I have like really dry skin. So I think that has helped. And then I've also been using the Obagi Elastoderm. Started using that probably day two, evening of day two. Um, and I really saw a really big difference once I started using that. So plus using the heavy duty, I did find that the First Aid Beauty um, ultra repair moisturizer cream was the one that really felt um, the best. I like the water cream though, Charlotte Tilbury water cream, but um, that got absorbed really well. The ultra repair was probably more moisturizing where the water cream is more hydrating, if that makes sense. So I've kind of been using a combination, but the first aid beauty for sure. But um, really amazed. So this is day five. I'm actually going to um, film a video and do um, 
so uh, some, some makeup products just came in and I feel comfortable enough wearing makeup. So I'm gonna go pretty lightly around here, but other than that, I, I'm pretty much healed everywhere else. I'm a little pink, but I'm a, so I cannot wait to see my results. Okay, so there you have it. That is um, my recovery. Now, I stopped recording like I think at day five. I can't remember, but I think day five was the last day I recorded because my recovery was so good. My recovery was so good this time. It was, um, and I'll post a link up here to my other one. It's actually on my other channel, Shannon Ford, but, um, and all of that was shot on my, on my iPhone, but it was so much better this time. So first thing is, first day your face is burning, like it is burning. What I found is I got a fan and I put a fan like right next to me because when I was in the car, um, I had the fan, the AC blowing and I was cool, but as soon as I turned the car off, my face was on fire. And when he's doing the laser, it has a little fan on there, which like doesn't, and then as soon as it stops, you start to feel it. So I just had a fan and I was kind of just back at work and I felt like my own like personal Beyonce with my fan blowing in my face while I, um, you know, while I worked. Uh, it starts to get better as the day goes on. Um, but that first night I did take um, an Advil PM. I did take an Advil PM to one, help with the uh, inflammation and then to help with just being able to sleep um, because I knew I was gonna str struggle going to sleep. Didn't need it after that. The next day, the burning was pretty much gone. Also that Avion water, get it. If you're doing the halo laser, do it. Um, I found out about it after and it is amazing. It just really, just really helped. Um, the uh, Obagi Elastoderm, I think really helped. And then also the Cosirex um, Snail Mucin, that really helped as well. So I think all those things, plus my skin is a little, you know, tougher because it's kind of been in training with the tretinoin. Um, it can handle a lot more, but um, I was shocked how fast my recovery was. And I just amazed, absolutely amazed, very happy with my results, can't wait. Actually, I can wait to go back because it's not the most pleasant experience, but excited to go back for my second treatment, but very happy with the results. So if you are thinking about doing the halo laser, just do it. The results are amazing. The downtime is minimal. Um, it's just great. So, but definitely work with your um, doctor to get you on some sort of like uh, skin regimen, either retinol or tretinoin to kind of train your skin to being able to handle the laser because that will really help. And then I will post a links in our, put everything in the description box below of what I use to help my recovery. Um, some might be affiliate links, but um, this, I paid for this laser myself. I absolutely recommend it. Um, it was not sponsored. I paid for it myself and, but I think it is totally worth it. And I wanted to do an update video. So with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.